Okay guys, let's talk a little bit about powder. Going through the reloading manuals, you will see a variety of names and numbers and confusing nomenclatures. Let's just discuss a little bit about what gunpowder is. We're using smokeless powder, which is entirely different than black powder. And smokeless powder generates the high pressures in today's you know, high velocity cartridges. What we have is three basic grain structures that are going to define our, car our powders for today. You've got flake powder, which looks like tiny little flakes, has a very fast burn rate, and is usually reserved for pistol cartridges and shotguns. You've got ball powder, which is a very compact, spherical little bunch of balls. And then you've got stick powder, which is extruded into like spaghetti-like rods and cut to a specific length. Here we've got three powders uh, suitable for the cartridges we're gonna load. Hodgdon's CFE pistol is perfect for both the 45 ACP and 357 Magnum. It's a ball powder that has a specific new formula called copper fouling eraser, it's CFE, and it's, it's a chemical they put in to burn out the copper fouling in your bore. Uh, laboratory tests have shown it, it dramatically reduces the, the fouling within a, a pistol or rifle bore. Uh, not only that, the burn rate is perfectly suitable for the cartridges we're about to load, both the 357 Magnum and the 45 ACP. Over here we've got IMR, which stands for Improved Military Rifle, number 4895 which is a great partner in the uh, 458 Winchester Magnum. It burns a bit on the faster side than the slow burning Magnum pow uh, powders. So for a straight walled shorter case, it'll generate the 2000 to 2100 feet per second we're looking for with a 500 grain bullet out of the 458 in a very safe manner. Uh, IMR 4895 is a stick powder, uh, been around for years and the formula hasn't changed. We have a new one though uh, for the 3006 case. We've got one of in, uh, IMR's Enduron lines, uh, IMR 4451, uh, relatively new, it's been out for the last year or so. What this does, it's a, it's a medium slow burning powder so that a 3006 type case, be it the 2506 or the 270 or the 35 Welland, something in that, in that family, will generate the high pressures they want in, in the new Enduron line without having the temperature sensitivity that is normally associated with the, uh, the older styles of powder. You would lose up to, they used to figure two feet per second for every degree Fahrenheit drop higher or lower than the, the mean testing temperature. Which means that when you're hunting muskox in the Arctic, you know, your velocity would drop off significantly. Or if you were hunting kudu in the, in, the, in the Zambezi Valley of Zimbabwe in October, where it gets up over 110 degrees, your velocity would rise so that it would become dangerous and you would generate high pressures. The, the firearm wouldn't function properly, the case would be stuck in the chamber, etc. Hodgdon in the new IMR 4451 and all the Endure Online has really nailed that problem with, with virtually zero temperature sensitivity. What it does, it, regardless of the temperature at which you develop the, the load, it'll give you an even burn rate, whether it's you know, 20 degrees Fahrenheit or 120 degrees Fahrenheit. There is a tiny bit of fluctuation, but it's not enough to worry about. And uh, I can honestly say that IMR uh, Enduron stuff has been nothing but fantastic in my own experiences. When you find your recipe out of the reloading manual, if you look at the data and it tells you to use IMR 4895 for your application, you want to be sure that you have the name and numbers correct. You don't want to substitute H4895 for IMR4895 because the burn rates are different. The H stands for Hodgdon and this is Improved Military Rifle. They're now owned by the same company, but traditionally, and it always has been and always will be, the burn rates of the two powders are different. So you want to be very, very cognizant of, of the, the nomenclature of your powder. You, you, can't, you can't go jumping around. You should never blend powders. Uh, maybe that's something else we should talk about really quickly, how to store it. You want to keep your powder, regardless of what brand or application, in its original container, sealed very tightly, and in a cool, dark place. Uh, you don't want it exposed to any light. You don't want to leave it in the hopper of your powder thrower, uh, because certain powders can have a chemical reaction with it and, and not only break down your powder, but destroy your machine. Uh, but you want to store it 
in a place where were tragedy to hit and a spark were to hit it, it would be open to freely burn. I know some people who have in the past stored powder within a gun safe and that's a huge no-no. You've made a bomb is what you've done because that powder wants to burn and it has nowhere to go other than to create a gigantic pressure curve and blow your safe to kingdom come. Do your homework on powder as a reloader. It's, it's kind of your obligation to become familiar with the burn rates. Uh, the company descriptions are very, very accurate and most of the companies who create powder will give you an online means of, of reloading data for their powders. Uh, www.hodgden.com, pointing to it right here, is a great source of reloading data for all three of the companies, Winchester Powder, IMR Powder, and Hodgden. They will give you a specific bullet weight and a start and stop, minimum and maximum, so that you can safely get underway. All right, happy loading. Mm -hmm.